Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we are blasting Impure Satan's Eclipse. Fucking A. How many times can I listen to this record? It just gets better and better and better. And they have a new EP coming out that thankfully is already pre-ordered. Fucking hails to Mr. Randall. I can't wait to get that slab of evil in the fucking mail. I think it drops next month too, which is gonna be fucking sick. But yeah, impure Satan's Eclipse. The, the, this is fucking Black Death at its finest in 2019. It's even sleazy sounding, which makes it all the better because this is just chalk full of riffs and I love it fucking Satan's Eclipse by Impure fuck yeah and speaking of fuck yeah this next band Hills from Hungary is on a foreign label Blood Harvest so keep that in mind because this is two songs so an import of two songs is gonna cost you a good amount of money but there's a deal on this bad boy where you can get different colors of it for a nice discount but unless you're one of those collectors that has to have every variant of the same album and I'm not one to talk I have three different versions of Star Spawn like so I, I can't say anything <laughs> but if you need to have every color, that's still a possibility. There's four remaining colors. I mean, four remaining copies left of one color, but I think the copy I have still has some left. And then black, as always, oddly, is fine. And I'm talking about Hungary's Tyrant Goat Galadracona. Just rolls off the tip of the tongue, but Marquee of Evil. First off, this is what I would call bestial death metal. Now, yeah, there's black elements in here, but holy shit. From that Mark Riddick savage ass illustration, you kind of know what you're getting into, but. I thought this band legit was from Texas until I did a little bit of research. Not because of the logo, because of the sound. It's very, very Texan death metal. It's a perfect mix of like savagery, some kind of doomed out parts, and blasphemy. This is evil as fuck. 10 plus minutes of just fucking bone crushing death and blasphemy. Conspiracy with Marquis and the Seventh Throne make up this bad boy. And let me just read you some lyrics real quick. The wolf ascends by his wings, spits fire onto hypocrite Christian armies. Their blood, like rain, falls from his wings onto their faces, burns torment into their souls. Demonic army of the Marquis, more godless than the god-desecrating army of men. Fuck yes! Evil, evil shit. And Blood Harvest was nice enough to send this over with the Coffin Rock full length. Along with another 7 inch which I'm going to get into in the near future. Because they were amazing gifts and they are amazing tunes. And it would be awesome if you maniacs, if you're going to buy them, buy them together. Because they're such a good combination and you're totally getting your money's worth. Because there's one reason I don't really do too many reviews from Blood Harvest, and it's legit a financial reason. 
And it's a bummer sometimes when I see a band I love, like Cavern. I would have loved to have gotten, I probably still can. Hell's Headbangers sometimes gets Blood Harvest releases. But I feel like they have such a gnarly catalog of bands to choose from and stuff. If you have the money for it and you feel comfortable, you know, not having a tracking number, go for it. Because this shit is so good, it's worth a little bit of anxiety if you're the type of person I am. But this duo is so fucking savage and just good at what they fucking do. And I am talking about... Hellfire Commander of Eternal War and Pain on vocals and drums, and we have Grave Desecration and Necrosodomy on guitars and bass. These two Hungarians know what the fuck is up, and the result right here is Marquee of Evil. Because Tyrant Goat Galadracona is just fucking bringing forth the evil straight to your turntable on 7 inches and 10 plus minutes of traditional yet primal and awesome riffery. But it's not just the riffs and the vocals that are badass, the drumming it's straight up like nuclear fucking warhammers. And something that just makes me smile is the all so familiar white, black, and red design. Even Blasphemy's Blood Upon the Altar demo. It, I mean, come on. It just works. If it ain't broke, why fix it, you know? Keep it fucking evil and keep it savage. Because that's what this shit is and it's fucking awesome. Like, wait until you hear Conspiracy with Marquee. It's just like... Like, I, yes, I have some dreads going on. So, I, I could feel my dreads, like, growing, but... I've been listening to this for a few months, but I was like, what am I going to say about two songs? But there's so much to say about this release right here. From the Mark Riddick illustration to the fucking logo. That's what I mean. It just reminded me of, like, Blasphemian and something from, like, Texas. But it's from Hungary. And that's what makes it even fucking cooler. Because I, from what I read, this band has other material recorded, and the logo is by Sickness, 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 Sickness 666. I'm sorry. Well, Sickness 666, great fucking logo design, whoever you are. And Mark Riddick, bravo. That's fucking awesome awesome design right there. I would love to get that on a t-shirt or fucking like long sleeves. That'd be so badass. But what's real important here are the fucking two tunes. And that's why I was like, like how am I going to make a video about this? But I can talk about these two tunes probably for 25 fucking minutes. But the bottom line is Tyrant Goat Galadracona, Marquee of Evil, is seven inches of, guess what? Evil, bestial, death metal. If you're a fan of, say, Weregoat, chances are very, very likely, if you have one of those eight balls, if you shake it up, yeah, chances are highly likely that Marquee of Evil is going to be on your next playlist. Because this is fucking sick and I'm begging for more. So I'm going to look into this band's back catalog in the near future. And hopefully their older material and hopefully again future material 
is as goddamn sick as Marquis of Evil is. Because Tyrant Goat God Lachona fucking rule. Total bestial death metal from Hungary. On Sweden's Blood Harvest Records, like I was saying, I would, if you have the money for it, make a like kind of not gnarly order but like maybe get a 12 inch and if you have some extra money grab a 7 inch and make it worth your time because this is so fucking good but we were blasting the mighty impure Satan's Eclipse so fucking good On the eve of the full moon, the light gives way to Satan's eclipse. Fuck yes. Enter eternal hellfire. And definitely, definitely get into that 7 inch. But as always, thank you for watching and thank you Blood Harvest for hooking it up. But as always, you fucking rule. Stay stay. <laughs> Stay safe out there. It's fucking shitty outside right now while I'm filming this. It's like pouring down rain and just... It, it's garbage. But, as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hail Caesar.